two covers through the middle. Adi up for three. Good morning out there, hockey world. Welcome to the New Zealand Heritage Hockey Tournament 2024, the place where culture and pride hit the turf and some of the best players in the country have the chance to stand up and represent their heritage. We're coming to you live from the National Hockey Centre here in North Harbour, home, of course, of the North Harbour Hockey Association and home of the New Zealand Black Sticks. It's the final day of tournament today and there's no better way to finish Easter weekend than with the middle matches here at Heritage Hockey 2024. I'm Brad Pittman and have been with you this whole Easter weekend bringing you all 16 games of the tournament thanks to the support of One Foundation. I'm joined in commentary this morning by NZISA President and Life Member Suresh Walab. Good morning Suresh. Good morning Brad, how are you this morning mate? Yeah good, good. It's a little bit of an earlier start for us uh, this morning and uh, the ladies are out here bright and early uh, we're kicking off the day of course with the women's bronze medal match uh, the New Zealand Asian Dragons taking on the New Zealand Indian ladies uh, these two teams played each other on Saturday finishing in a 2-1 win to the Indian side who went narrowly close yesterday uh, in a game against the Heritage Barbarians just missing out on the gold medal match due to a penalty shootout um, both teams though will want to finish their tournament on a high Yes, um, I'm sure the ladies would have been disappointed with the end result in yesterday's game. Yeah, yeah, well, before we start, I want to put a shout out to our little mate Pratik Patel. Um, unfortunately, saving that PC on the line and um, yeah, putting, literally putting a body on the line and yeah, hair was millimetres away from being amputated last night, but um, hopefully surgery went well, so speedy recovery, Pratika. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, highly disappointed, obviously, but... Um, the way that we've been building over the last four years and this year having a team full of uh, heritage NZ Indian heritage players has mm -hmm. been a massive one for us so yeah hopefully the girls uh, finish off on a strong win and build for the years to come yeah absolutely and it was a, a heart-stopping game yesterday against the heritage Barbarian side the Indian ladies up for the majority of it uh, conceding a goal I think in the final two minutes and then uh, going down in the penalty shootout heartbreaking way to miss out on today's gold medal match but uh, they'll have to get up today because this uh, Asian Dragon side have been building each day they've been growing uh, it's their first time at the tournament here as we see them out in their preparations um, yes a, a welcome inclusion to this year's tournament they've been uh, you know a strong new force here yeah it's been awesome to see isn't it and uh, just showing what um this big melting pot New Zealand has and obviously with the uh, inclusion of NZ Asians and it's not just you know it's from all over New Zealand that they're coming through and hopefully that'll build and speaking to their coaching staff and management and with Julia over the weekend you know Julia is excited about what's to come and uh, we've just been talking with the management and coaching about what we can do and how you know even Indians and Asians could meet in the and maybe a Matariki weekend yep. sort of fixture or something. Just who knows, you know, the possibilities and getting the juniors involved. And so, you know, but we all got to start somewhere, right? And you've got to start with a conversation first. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so good to have them here uh, joining Heritage 2024. You see the teams out there in the middle. The Indian ladies led out, of course, by their captain, Jaina Suka. And the Asian side led out by Jess Ellis. Our umpires for today's match, Lewis Brownsey and Kirsten Smith. They'll control the game from the middle in the pinks. You can see it's a pretty cold morning here, S-Man, but a bit of, uh, bit of mist coming off the, uh, yeah, the ladies out there. It's actually a beautiful morning, isn't it? Um, nice and fresh, as you say, but, um, yeah, I think uh, that won't take long to warm up. And, and we're, we've got the luxury of sitting up here in this five-star five star office here, you yeah. know, in the broadcast. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like you say, it won't, won't take long for them to warm up. It's been a beautiful weekend, all weekend here. Uh, in North Harbour. 
first time up here for Heritage Tournament. As we check out some of the uh, the players that will line up for the Asian side, uh, just one I want to highlight is Shuki Morimoto, the goalkeeper for the Asian Dragons. Um, she's had really good performances all weekend. I know they haven't had the results in their favour, but um, she really stands up at the back, one of the senior experienced players, and will help them set a bit of a platform today. Yes, you would have seen a bit of, of Shuku. And yeah, impressed. it's awesome to see. Eh? Like, you can't, um, obviously, nothing beats experience. And what Shuku brings to the team, sure, it's, um, you know, uh, like you said, the senior member of the team, but leading by example, being a senior at the back there and just saving all the straight ones, everything else is a bonus, you know what I mean? And just obviously her talking or calling at the back there would help out the young ones at the back. Yeah, absolutely. And the uh, I guess thing to note here today, you mentioned Pratika uh, having to go to hospital last night. Um, Rashika Chiba's back on the card. She's warmed yeah, up so, this morning. So Jai must have worked his magic on the back and just um, obviously he's got those cups that he uses and it gets things sorted. So it'll be good to see Rashika back and she'll be frothing to play. Yeah, she'll start from the bench today, um, but looking forward to seeing her addition back into this Indian ladies side. Uh, first attack here for the Indian ladies. Good bit of skill there just outside the circle. Shana Nasai. I think we've found that Shana's been doing that all weekend. She's had a massive tournament, I think, uh, first year, first time back in three years, so she's been having a, a great time of it. You know, just... Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. One of the um, the players who stood up for this Indian ladies side, uh, one of the many this weekend. Uh, they've had a really good tournament, I think, yes, and it, uh, it started right from Friday. I think they lost their first game, but they were right in it, and uh, it's really set a good platform for them. They could, could go home here with, uh, you know, if they do get the performance today, they could go home with two wins, a draw, and a loss, which would be a, a fantastic weekend for the NZI ladies. Oh, yeah, yeah, considering from where we've... Um come from but it's been it's massive and equally the uh, Asian Dragons side here potentially out hunting their first win in their first year of heritage which would be uh, pretty epic for them if they can get it done today so plenty still to play for uh, for both of these sides uh, ball at the back here that's right across the field to Navina Hero. Jaina Sukovi, Julia King, that's an exciting matchup. Here comes Divyanka. That skill there. One thing that's going to be of note, the players on this near side of the field are going to struggle with the sun a little bit this morning, especially if the ball is off the ground. Um, you can all see the shadows across the field. So just something of note. Yeah, it is. Hey, look, we're struggling this side, obviously, a bit earlier. In the morning. Yep, there's a great pass. Here's a shot coming. Nice save. Really good save from Kashona Dapachitri in goal, who went millimetres away from being perfect in the game yesterday. Uh, man, she absorbed some, some attack and some pressure in that game against the Heritage Barbarians. I think she was probably the best on the field. Yeah, I think so. Definitely the lady of the match yesterday. Yeah. Um, just a massive performance and just still very young, eh, Brad? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think only 21, 22 perhaps. Uh, and has played her fair share already of Heritage Tournaments. Yes. Yep. And answered the first call already for her side. And here come the Asian Dragons again into the circle. This is two circle entries early for the Asian team. Good to see on the card there today, um, Brad, the young, a couple of young girls from the counties area there. Monette. Yeah, yeah, they've, um, they've had a couple of players come in sort of over the weekend, uh, which is uh, exciting. Yeah, Monet and her sister, I just haven't got the team list in front of me. I've just parked up on the side here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get through that action once we can see who's, uh, who's out there. Like we said, a bit of a, uh, a tough look at the moment into the sun, but ladies out there doing the business. That one will sail over the back line. back out come this Asian Dragon side we've got a bit of space here for Emma King 
The Indian side just content in their shape at the moment. Audi was starting to push herself forward. Well cut out there by Jaina Suka. And they go quickly. Here's Oriwa Hepi on the ball. Always one of the best on the ground. Yes, man. And uh, Yes. Wow. Very nearly there. Sugar in the middle of the circle. Just couldn't find the end of her stick. You can just see this one there. The back stick pass from Oriwa Hepi. Really great ball through there. Good to see Shuku, though, had it covered. And onto the field does come Rashika Chiba on at the back. She'll provide a real lift for this Indian side. Yes. And of course, they'll, they'll be missing Pratika. Um, but really good to have Rishi back out there for the last day of tournament. Yeah, no, it'll be good for Rashika to finish this as well. But she's um, put a lot into this campaign. Over the, over the years, so she's mm -hmm. been great for NZI hockey, and over the years we've seen her grow as a player. Yeah, that's it, and uh, nothing better than being able to play you know, a tournament at home um, here at, at North Harbour for yeah. Rishi, so yeah, finishing it on the turf, and hopefully with a big one for the Indian ladies. And there's a couple of attacks here. Audi were happy, just trying to search for a way through. There it is. Diviani Soma. Soma beats one and two. Just, just bit, gets away on her. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, maybe that little last drag. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the 8am morning hands, I think. <laughs> Still warming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See most of the teams warming up in hoodies and, and track pants this morning. It might take this first quarter just to get into things. Yeah, it's always a hard one to get up for right, that first game in the morning, regardless of um, what level you're playing at. Yep. Yep, I remember playing uh, junior rugby and the frost was still on the grass. And you <laughs> had yep. to get out there and break the frost. Fortunately, none of that here on the turf, but early morning still the same. It's just Asian Dragon side. Yeah, I'm not going to go down to back in my day when we used to play on grass, Brad. You know? <laughs> Breaking ice into puddles inside the 16. That's all part of the fun of it. Yeah. Suka goes down the line. It's going to fall well there for Anjali Panchia. Cleaned up there by Julia King. There's a bit of uh, attack here. Reverse stick shot, up and over. Jasmine Mayer there on the shot, and it looked like Jasmine Ha on the post. Perhaps a uh, little wishful thinking that she could get up and touch that one, but on the post. Yeah, Navina Hira on the ball there with Rashika Chiba. That's a pretty solid. Um, Defensive group there for the Indian ladies. You're adding Adam Gurleen Gill and, and Jaina Sukha, who's now been replaced by Krish Makuma. That's a, a pretty strong back group, yes, man, and uh, something that's been building for a little while now for the NZI ladies. Yeah, yeah, that's good. they're getting a few games under their belt and sort of working out combinations and becoming senior players, I guess, you know. Well, obviously, Navina and Navina's the senior there, and um, but still. Gurleen's still still young. Krishma's still relatively young. She'll be hearing this later on, no doubt. But, um, you know. <laughs> we might get a pay rise <laughs> if, uh, from Curry there. The first nice thing we've said about her. In no way. She's a good weekend. kid. Yeah, absolutely. They go out through Gurleen Gill there under a little bit of pressure. Gets the pass away. Dibiani Soma. Can't get through, so they go back and around. This is something that they've really developed over the last couple of um, of years. Yes, is that ability to hold position, go back and reset, change the point of attack, and build up play. That was a nice touch there from uh, from Jazz Fitzwalter. 
Yeah, it's just building nicely, isn't it? I think both teams are still, uh, as you can see, building up their play and getting a few combinations sorted. Tired legs, last game of the tournament, as you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Four games in four days. Um, no easy feat out there for the ladies, and they give it their all. Like we said, the Indian ladies having to go to a penalty shootout, so extra time on the legs yesterday. Halfway through this first quarter. I'm liking the patience from the Indians here, right? Red? Yeah. It's yeah, they're really starting to um, be confident with the ball there as it's picked well by the Asian Dragons. And here's a bit of an opportunity. Reverse stick. Who's all the way through. But just that speed of the Asian team to like, when they break out, you know, they are getting a shot at goal. I know there's been a couple wide and Kishan has had to make one save there, but you know, it's still getting those shots away, which is just unpredictable how, how quick they are. Yeah, that's it. And they're, you know, they came into the tournament obviously as the unknown team, the new entity here at Heritage, but um, we've started to learn that, you know, they play with pace when they get going forward. They can attack from anywhere, um, and it is a little bit unpredictable. Not a style that we're particularly used to, no. um, but really exciting to be added to the Heritage Fold this year. And they'll work their way up towards halfway. And just a little bit of a, a shout-out, S-Man. I got a message through from Juhi Fitzwalter, who's watching across from uh, the UK uh, yeah, yep. at the moment. Um, awesome. A, bit, a little bit earlier than the rest of the games have been. Yeah, it's Juhi evening today. time for them, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Some of the games have been up around midnight um, through the weekend, but this one a little bit friendlier. So uh, good to have you watching, Juhi. Yep. And uh, your mum said we'll see you at KBT. That yeah. one just goes across the circle there. Yeah, caught up with the parents yesterday. They seemed quite keen to keen for QBT and heading back up for Bay of Plenty. Yep. Yep. I don't know, does that count as an international guest player or, or what's going on there? Uh, <laughs> yes, man, you'll have to look at the rules for, for KBT. To see what uh, see what's in the Bay of Plenty budget, I guess I'll have to work that out. Yeah, endless, I've heard. <laughs> endless. They've been paying all you were happy for years. Oh. <laughs> now here we are with this Asian Dragon side, Julia King. Just again happy to go back out and around. Both teams showing uh, you know really improved confidence, just holding the ball, keeping position, building things up. It's good to see the patience for both teams, right? Just Back yeah, around. that's it. And it's probably one of those ways to combat the fourth day fatigue uh, is keeping the ball for longer periods. It's not as uh, run and gun as perhaps it was earlier in the tournament. Yeah. Trying to find a way through. There, free hit coming for the Dragons. Just taking a long time to get things going up there, allowing that Indian defence to set. And cleaned up by Arriba. Already were happy down there, yep. Good tackle, eh? Free hit coming, taken quickly. The Dragons are off. They're in. And just sprayed over the back line. I like that enterprise. Those are the times to take things quickly. Yep. You know, those are the times to have a crack at it when you've got defenders you know, either jumbled up or out of position or late to get there. Really good from the dragon side. <laughs> little hiccup, morning hiccups, uh, yes man. Did you have a late night last night, Bradley? Hey. Or? No, celebrating the Warriors. Uh, here come the dragons in full press. Picked well, Julia King. This is a big opportunity. What a pass. Oh, and they had the player on the spot. It just had a little bit of a skip on it. There, you can see on this replay, this is the skill set of Julia King on the run, on the reverse. Yeah, we've seen that a couple now, haven't we? Just yeah. with, um, obviously, the one that Oriva put through and now with Julia putting through. So, 
Yep. Getting your body low on the ground, the attack, and keeping you stuck on the ground, right? That's it. If, if you're a, uh, a striker at neither of these teams with that sort of distribution in your midfield, get in the spot, get low, see the ball, and uh, you could have your name up in lights come finish time. Again, come the Dragons up that right side of the field. This Indian team just having to wear a little bit of pressure here. First piece here oh, the yeah, game. Yeah, a little unfortunate. We'll have to check the uh, the replay on that. It was right out the edge of the circle there and looked a little unfortunate. Hopefully we can get a look at it while the teams go in and get prepared. In the final two and a half minutes here. First penalty corner of the game. Let's have a look at it. Uh, that one there, just a little bit too high, I think. The little reverse flick from Oriwa found the body of the Asian yeah, player. I thought that was outside the circle, but they're a lot closer than I. Yep. And here come the Dragons. Short through King. King. Oh. Wow, that was uh, really well worked. That's probably one of the uh, better executed penalty corners we've seen from this Asian Dragon side. They had a, a ton of them in a game yesterday against the Junior Māori team. That yeah. little trick play, I really like that. Uh, Julia King, late shift into the short option. Jess Ellis in, in there for the deflection, just got up over the goal. Yeah, well, I think in the um, in the game yesterday versus the, the Junior Māori, we saw Julia was put, was injecting the, a lot yes. of the PCs, right? So it's um, good to see her out on the edge of the circle. Yeah, just help being one of those creators. Uh, you never really have to worry about her execution. It's probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, well, just that goal. That's all you want, don't you? Yep. Yeah, so uh, early shot there from the Asian team. And uh, both teams have come out to play this morning. And this Asian team have probably had the run of the last five or six minutes. And they'll take some confidence from it. Uh, as too will the Indian side for turning away uh, those multiple attacks. So... Uh, a good first quarter from both sides. We see. Strong whistle Taking there. quickly. She's in. Shreena Nana. Nana. Yeah, penalty corner down the other way in the final 35 seconds. What a time to go the other way. We'll have a look at this replay here. I like the, f the free hit taken quickly by Nana on the reverse stick. And they just got it in behind the stick. Of that's the Asian it. defender. That's the experience of Sharina, right? Just um, knowing what to do in those little short little passages there. Yeah, and what a time to do it. Like I said, the, the seconds will count off the clock here in this penalty corner. Uh, could be huge after weathering the last five or six minutes. And the Indian ladies strike. Caught the boot. Yeah, okay. they're going to get another one here. It's off the foot of the second runner for the Asian team. I'm pretty sure that's Zoe Thompson out there. It was Oriwa Hepi. It looked like she's going for the deceptive sweep it. And now they're all up on the edge here. Same spot. S exact same spot. This time, not the foot of the runner, but the stick. Really well done there by Zoe Thompson. Good defence there, right? Yeah, second runner. It hit her foot the first time. She made the slight adjustments and it got her stick. That time, as we see the teams coming off the field here, uh, good quarters from both sides. Both had opportunities at attack. Both had penalty corners. Both had goalkeepers uh, forced to make saves. And yes, man, what do you make of the first 17 minutes? Yeah, as you can see, both teams are still... Um Looks like they're getting into their play, but I think they're finding their rhythm now. Um, it's nice seeing both teams with that back and around. You know, they're both executing it well, and like you say, tired legs. So, um, first save from Kashona there. Came out early in the game. Yeah, that's it. And like I said, both goalkeepers having to do a little bit of work early doors this morning, uh, which means both teams are starting to get things rolling. And, and I think you probably highlighted it best there, yes. Both teams willing to build the play up, keep periods of possession, get layers right, uh, you know, come back and around where they need to. But then when they have the opportunity to go, taking quick free hits around yep. the edge of the circle, catching defenders off guard, which worked for both teams. This one, 
very nearly. That's extremely well executed. Yeah. And I think that's what's going to what, what's what's going to be you know just uh, where your player is in the circle, getting down low, deflections. You know, because both of these goalies are extremely good up close. Yep. Uh, straight shots, you're not going to get through. So. We're going to have to move these goalies around, you know, get off, get them off their post and get them behind them. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something we saw um, really well executed. The New Zealand Indian men against the uh, Asian side earlier in the weekend where they took about a quarter to get the idea that you've got to go around some of these goalkeepers, some of them really top notch. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see yeah, how those deflections and how the player positioning in the circle Takes a toll on these next three quarters. And here we go. The Indian ladies, first use of the ball here through Audio Hepi. Manish Jerem. Jazz Fitzwalter just gets away on her there. Of uh, course, Manisha back in the country for this weekend's Heritage Tournament, living over in Australia. Yeah, living over in Melbourne. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's with, uh, obviously, brother. Yeah. And um, uh, Nitz is over there as well. Yeah, so. that's right, Carol and Nitz. Shout out if you're watching this one. You too, either of you. You better be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It'll be early over there at the moment. They might not be home yet. No, they're not <laughs> watching it on their phone somewhere. Uh, but yeah, really good to have uh, Manisha make the trip across. Been one of the strong parts of this Indian ladies for all four years at Heritage. I remember uh, the first year seeing her get playing at Southern there at home. Yep. Um, and still here four years later making the trip across. Yeah, this Asian Dragon side again up that right side. They favour the right side and attack. Going quickly. Long corner coming the way of Jess Ellis. Here is Ellis, the captain of the side. What a touch in, Julia King. Just a bit of a mix up there. Thought Galena was going to run off. <laughs> And they try, they try the same there with the one-touch pass. Still going here, King. Oh, just got a little bit mixed up on their layers there, the two midfielders. And now full press in the corner. Yeah, tough to get out of this one. Krishma Kumar beats the first player. And earns another sideline hit. And that's really well done there. It's, nothing's tough when you've got skills like that. Yeah, just nice simple run out, wasn't it? And just get the deflection. Yeah, that's it. Especially when you're on that stronger side, that right side, the defender's left foot. You can target that. And uh, any little deflection over the sideline's a good one. Uh, you can see the shots on goal there at the moment. 4-3 in favour of the Asian Dragons. Nothing yet, of course, for the scorers. And 2-1 the other way in the attacking corners. Uh, remembering those were just before the quarter break. So uh, pretty balanced to start here, S-Man. Opportunities yep. both ways. And uh, both ladies' teams will, will start to put a bit of pressure on as this game unfolds. Yeah, and I think you're going to start seeing... Uh, Probably the senior players take a bit more control of that now in the midfields. And yeah. Julia O'Reba. Yeah, that's it. You'll start to see them either push themselves up a little bit higher or, or get a few more touches in the middle of the field. Yeah, and obviously Navina there, just as we spoke of senior players, she's coming through. Yeah, how, how cool is it for, you know, especially some of these younger players in the... Uh, Indian ladies' side to be able to share the field with, with Naveena, her great experience and, and expertise out there. Yeah, well, she was obviously coached last year as well, so, you know, she knows a lot about this team and, and has some awesome input towards team talks and I know Hiru 
a draw is what she has to offer. And like all senior players, you know, so much to offer. Yeah, absolutely. Here comes Shana Narsai. Narsai has got the edge of the circle. She's still got the ball turning. Excellent skill, Shana Narsai. As we've said many times before, Shana's been doing that all tournament, hasn't she? Yeah. She's just been great control of the ball. Knows where she is in the circle and they able to fill that PC. Yeah, we see this replay here. It's a little bit back and forth, but she just kept it. Went one way. Saw it was Julia King, decided to go the other way. Smart move. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, third penalty corner here, the way of the Indian ladies. Trying to break the deadlock. That one, Gill, saved. Nasai again. She's got some space. Oh, there was two swings at it on its way through. Shensia there just... Yeah, and I think Anjali had a, yeah. a little go at it as well on its way through. I think we've got to be a bit harder on ourselves here, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. There's two people in really good spots and neither of them getting anything on it. They had a golden opportunity for the Indian ladies. A bit of skill coming through there, Suzu Bennett. Well cut out there. Krishna Makuma linking up with Shikachiba. Nice one. Anjali Panchia. Panchia beats one. Still going. Can't get through that tackle. Excellent spot tackle there, S Man. Yeah. Nice and nice and low and player or the ball. Yep. Sometimes both. Yeah. <laughs> Not intentionally, but no, no, that's just a really good tackle. Just get up there off the stick of Suka. So the Asian team keeping the free hit down that right side. I think they're going to go back perhaps for the first free hit, which is up towards the 25 yard line. And of course, if you're just joining us, this is the women's bronze medal match between New Zealand and Indian and New Zealand Asian women's sides. It's nil all here midway through the second quarter. We're live from the North Harbour Hockey Centre. And it's here at Tich Hockey 2024, of course, brought to you thanks to One Foundation, the major supporters, major sponsors of this weekend's tournament. Not only what's happening out on the turf, but the ability to bring you this live stream as well. Yeah, One Foundation have been massive for for most of these organisations here. Like, from the outset of Heritage, they've just hopped on board and I think they've just really gotten behind the idea of what Heritage is all about. Yeah. And um, obviously, even with our Indians, um, NZ Indians, they've been so great to us and the, the support that they've given us has just enabled us to um, grow the Heritage brand and, as, and also the NZ Indians brand. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't go... Uh couldn't be going so well without the support of One Foundation this entire tournament. Like you see, a number of the entities as well, uh, you know, well supported by the team at One Foundation. So thank you again for your support. Four years going strong as the major sponsors of the event. And now come the Indian side. Giveaway position though, it can't get that circle entry. And here come this Asian side through the midfield. Jess Ellis drops it off for Julia King. King, some space up there. Unfortunately, just a little untidy there for Violet Liu. Both teams are finding it quite easy to get into the, um, getting out of their um, 25, aren't they, Brad? Yeah, yeah. Easy or they're just spreading it well, I think. Both teams have got players in good positions, just been able to spread it wide. I think also both teams are, are playing in some really nice spaces, so they're not overcrowding areas of the field. They're, both are, are happy to stretch the game out a little bit, which just does create those little pockets in the midfield. 
That's a nice turn bike, I think. Good little run there. Yeah, and this is the shift of uh, attack that's going to make things tough for the Asian side. Nice little lead into the midfield there by Sharina Nana. There she picks it up now. Take the sideline hit. Couldn't quite get past Julia King. And now Krishma Kumar on the ball. Gillian Gill. Pushing that one a bit too. Yeah. Asking a bit too much, I think, of um, China. Yeah, they just got a little bit too far apart that time. Uh, allowed the... Uh, Asian player to get in the passing lane and make it tough for Jaina. Game's just uh, just slowed down a little bit in the second quarter. That one onto the foot there of Shikichibi. They've got the advantage though. And still there for the Asian team. Long corner coming. You can see there the players just struggling with the sun a little bit. Uh, yes, a few of them with their hands up. Uh, yeah. Covering the eyes. and Tough for the goalie as well. Just yep. got to watch that. So perhaps it's a, a ploy that this Asian side of it are attacking down that right side to start with. Making things a little bit more difficult for the uh, the Indian defenders. We're going to have another go at it here. The long corner, Jess Ellis is waiting for it. Where does Jess play hockey, Brad? I believe she's up here in Auckland. I'm yep. not 100% uh, where she's at with club, but uh, yeah, I actually haven't seen her play for a couple of years now. Previously was, uh, was certainly up here in Auckland. But yeah, good to have her out here. Yeah. Uh, again, one of the more experienced players. Um, she's similar age to, to myself. Oh, that young. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I saw her warming oh, up that's yesterday. that's great ball. Yep. Here's Manisha Jerem. She's got a couple to beat and a couple in tow. Here's Soma. And a little bit of confusion out on the pitch there. Not entirely sure. What happened there? It just got in behind the pole for me. Yes, man. I think it just came up onto her foot, but could have gone either way with the lifted, lifted into her or maybe. Yeah, both teams seemed a little confused there on the whistle. Don't ask me which way it should have gone, Brad. <laughs> you know which way I'm going to go. So. Chiba there. Forcing a long corner. All right. I think she was trying to link up with uh, Manisha Jerem, but just didn't quite get it right there. Oh, that's gone through, all of them there. Not often you see Julia King miss one. But all the way through to the back line as we close in on the final four minutes of the second quarter. Still no goals either way. And to be fair, not a lot troubling either goalkeeper this second quarter. Most of the action was in the first quarter. That's a great change of, uh, of position there. Rishi in some space. And taken quickly by the Asian side. I like this. They've got numbers moving forward. Oh, just overcooked. Yeah, that's the day four legs, I think. Yes, yeah, man. and I think just a good line from Jaina there, running it down and just not giving her that space to get right inside. This one right across the field through Krishma Kumar. And again, that's just got away on her a little bit. Yeah, yeah. getting a bit... Um, both teams, I think, we're seeing just these passes getting a bit messy last, last couple of minutes of the game, three minutes, so... Yeah, that's it. It's... Uh, it is tough out there, four games in four days. Yep. And that's uh, been hot through the whole tournament, so 
don't underestimate the fatigue that some of these players will be playing under, especially those playing big minutes for their teams. Yeah, some of them have. Eh? Like we're having a chat this morning just with, with Brett there, and just the minutes Julia's been playing. Yeah, you know, like, I know probably at Black Six level they probably don't want them to play that nah. sort of minutes, but hey, if you're loving it and enjoying it, just yeah. keep going, right? That's it, and they. Um, yeah, there's a few of them across the different teams that have been asked to play big minutes over the weekend. Yeah. But like you say, I'm sure they're loving it. A little touch there from Soma. Nobody there for the Indian side, though. And here is King. Here comes Soma down this right side. Soma's got one to beat. A little tangle up, uniform malfunction there. <laughs> Stick caught in the top. It's a great pass though. And the extra. Nasai there for Panchia. Oh, just. Oh, just misses past the post. It was good. a lovely little uh, shovel shot there from Anjali Panchia though. Just trying to look for that inside, right? Just. That one's going to be a little tangle up and go in the way of the Indian ladies. Final minute and a half here in the second quarter. That one's a little underdone. But they keep possession here. See Galene there just in the middle, back in the middle there, just taking a bit more control. I think she's good at that role, eh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Pretty good distributor of the ball, has a decent long pass on her, yeah. um, and a good communicator as well. Yeah, I think learning a lot off what Naveen has been teaching her, so. Yeah. Yeah, and she had uh, a pretty good opportunity in her last couple of years at school hockey too to assume that role and play a bit of a lead figure at the back. Uh, for her Bethlehem College team. Bit of coaching from yourself, was that Brad? Oh, I, I couldn't claim that, no. A uh, good friend of mine, Denham Clark. Yeah. We've uh, done a fair bit of uh, coaching with Gurleen. Uh, just going to uh, hold these last little periods, looking for perhaps one strike through without turning the ball over. But great read there from the Dragons. Jasmine Hart got up in the passing lane. Probably not what uh, Navina wanted to do in the last 10 seconds. No, that's it. I, I just finished saying, I think they're probably just going to be patient and look for something if it arises without giving a turnover. And on cue, um, Navina just says uh, across the field it goes and teams coming off the field. Now still locked up at nil all. We will go to a short ad break before bringing you the highlights from the first half. We'll see you shortly. Welcome back here to half time of the first game of the finals day here. It's the women's bronze medal match between New Zealand Indian Sports and the New Zealand Asian Dragons in the women's section. 
Uh, yes, man, we've just had a message through from a, uh, a fan that uh, it's Jaina Sukha's birthday yeah, today. So happy 40th, Jaina. Yeah, 40 big 4-0 out there for the captain of the NZISA side. Looking great at 40. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And she's been out there uh, ripping it up on her 40th birthday. So massive happy birthday to Jaina. I uh, hope you can celebrate this one with a win. Perhaps get yourself up there in the circle for a goal as well on the birthday. As we check out some of the highlights here from this first half. Both teams with opportunities, certainly in that first quarter. I think both teams looked uh, really good in attack in that first quarter. It just took a little bit out of it in the second. I think we saw a bit of the fatigue set in. This penalty corner sequence here. Yeah, just Two nice skills ladies. by Nana there, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been really impressed with the, the close skills of both um, Sharina Nana and Shana Nasai over yeah. the weekend. Of course, Sharina Nana coming in on day two, um, Shana being here the whole time. Um, you can see Nasai here and in the next penalty corner. Yeah, just a um, awareness inside the circle as we, and even outside the circle, getting yourself into the, you know, with the ball, good control. Yeah, yeah really good. There is Nasai again. You just see, keeps the ball on the stick. The whole time delivers. This is a great pass across the circle through two uh, Indian attackers there that just couldn't put it away. Nasai again here. Setting up this opportunity for Anjali Punch here. And there we can see the Indian side in their, uh, their changing shed. Yeah, just... Uh See a little bit of uh, communication there from uh, Sharina Nana mm. and obviously uh, Coach Priya King. Yep, yep. And we've spoken, of course, about you know Hitu and, and Navina and that, but also Priya in there this year, um, part of the coaching staff for the NZISA ladies. Yeah, yeah. So, um, like I think we said in the first first game, like we're not just about developing uh, players, we're about developing coaches, developing managers, and so yeah, it's great to see Priya jump on board. Oh, I got my name wrong. It's yep. Rishwalov, not Patel. But. That's his uh, <coughs> cousin that he doesn't like very much. <laughs> That's that other guy. <laughs> but we're, uh, he's uh, saluting. It's an army salute. Yeah, yeah. And there we see some of the Fitzwalter team out there. Yeah, bit of babysitting duties for Poppy there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, as we see the two teams coming out now. Yeah, just... Um, yeah, for Jaina. No, it's not her fortieth. <laughs> We're just um, just trying to lighten it up a bit. April Fools and all everybody. So yeah, maybe that's the joke they played on me. <laughs> but no, happy birthday, Jaina. Let's hope we get this one across the line for you. Yeah. Yeah. So the April Fools is she's not forty. It is her birthday. Happy birthday, Jaina. Um, but obviously not forty. And I'm sure we're going to be in for a hiding when she gets off the field. <laughs> Jaina's far too nice to give anyone a hiding. <laughs> I'll have to go into hiding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here comes the second half here. We're still locked up. Nil all. It's the Asian Dragons taking on New Zealand Indian Sports Association ladies in our women's bronze medal match. Can you see? Oh, sorry. And here comes... King trying to work the outlet. That's great pick up here. And the turn. This is really good from the Asian Dragons. It's Lisa Zhu. And now still going Jazz Mayher. But they give it away. Again, a little bit of confusion. We've seen that a few times there in this ladies game in and around that 25-yard area. Just a couple of 50-50 hits. Going the way of the defense. Good pick up here from King. King has the entry. Yeah, probably just need a little bit more height out of that um, overhead from Gurleen. Yeah, especially if you're going to try and take on Julia King, who isn't going to miss it. No. Another free hit coming there the way of Zoe Ellis. Across the circle, that's beautiful. What a ball, what a goal. The Asian wow. Dragons strike first in the second half. 
And it's the uh, touch there in front of goal that beats Kishona Tapachitri. You talked about it earlier in the game. Yes, man, you're going to have to start to deflect the ball around these no. goalkeepers because they're just too good. So was that directly yeah. in? Uh, she'd taken it out, turned around. The free ah, hit was up okay. near the edge of the circle. Nice. Uh, okay. There's so a good execution from the Asian Dragons. and Coming out strong in this... Um third quarter yeah what a time to strike right after the halftime break they obviously had some uh some miso or something uh going on in the halftime talk because they're uh, they're firing now yeah that was a nice strong cross you know just nice and flat yeah the ball across uh, from zoe alice who'd won the free hit goal scorer lisa zoo and uh Good reward for Shid being the one that just made this really nice receive out in front of us and turned inside to set up the attacking play. So well done, well finished there by Lisa Zhu. And now playing with a bit of confidence, this Asian side. Just their speed, eh? Yeah. So fast. And it's, like I said, it's something we didn't see a lot of in that second quarter. Things just seemed to slow up a little bit from both sides. Um, yeah. But perhaps the uh, the scoreboard's going to turn the volume up a little bit on both teams. Yeah, and just maybe regrouping a bit, just a longer team talk. Yeah, and it's uh, Penalty corner coming there, just inside the circle. I think it was Jaina Suka. It's a little foot there, maybe. But you're right, just having that extra time at halftime to talk to really good coaches and, and like I said, Hitendra and, and Paresh. Ah, not Paresh, apologies. Julia looking after the Asian side. Two teams uh, who would have got some good instruction at halftime. So, yeah, what a way to start here for the Asian ladies and an opportunity to double the lead. Yeah, as we see, like someone else is pulling out, injecting. They're just getting their defence sorted at the moment. A little bit of a uh, Easter sermon down there. Yeah. In the goal. Here we go. And buries wow. it. What a strike. What a shot. All power there. What a goal, what a start to the second half. Just a straight hit, you'd yep. be liking that. That's it, all gas, no breaks there. That's uh, absolute money. Again, as no teams have really been able to figure out ways to get past uh, Kishona Tapachetri with much uh, this weekend. They've got two here at the Asian Dragons. Quick succession, right? Yep, yep. First five minutes of this quarter, they go one and two. And now the mountain to climb for the Indian ladies, huge. That was Lana Charlick with the strike. Here she is on the ball now. She's been good for this Asian side. And now the Indian ladies are really going to have to dig deep. Good start. Hippie, Long, Gowden. I didn't even have to look up and see if it was her. Yes, man, when no. I see that long ball going through, that's the Bay connection. Yeah. Yeah, just hasn't, haven't, haven't connected that well this weekend. No, they haven't quite got it happening like we saw or have seen in previous KBT and QBTs for the Tigers. Yeah, I still think, yeah, we can still keep it short throughout that midfield. I don't think we need to go through too long, you know, from 25 to 25. Yeah, yeah. It's um, You don't want to see this team playing overly desperate. There's still plenty of time. They can still build up well. have just got to keep that position moving forward and get some targets up in that attacking circle. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. Like, I think that's players get a bit frustrated, obviously, seeing two quick goals. But I think you just got to realise that there's plenty of time on the clock. Stick to your process. And if that's not straight in, I'm not sure what is. 
Yeah, I think uh, the umpire would have called it if it had fallen to anybody, but over the back line, just let it play the same free hit. Fitzwalter here. Drops it back off. Kuma, Chiba. And around they go through Jaina Suka. Nice turn there by Diviani yeah. Soma. This is really nice build up. This is better from the Indian side. A bit more patience. Nice. Again, this is really good. They've got to keep this midfield. I like the ball in and out at the moment. Rishi just starting to point lines to players. Yeah, just get a little free hit, get the roll on. Asians are still holding up nicely too, right? Yeah, they, they shift pretty well. Um, that's a nice pass. That's going to open some things up here. Oh, very nearly though. Cut out by King. Julia King. Just yeah. buying herself some time. There's the delivery. It's going to fall for the Asian team. And very nearly. I think it was Jasmine Ha again there in the circle. I think they were pretty fortunate there that that ball perhaps didn't hit the foot of the first players. We see this replay. This ball from King is a peach. That one I thought maybe picked up the foot. Um, the umpire was right there, so obviously the sun got in her eyes. So making it a bit difficult, the sun, for players and umpires. A 16 yard hit here for the Indian ladies. Again, I'd like to see them build up the way they were, but that. Yeah, I think when it came out to this uh, left side here, um, you didn't have to guess which player but came to pick it out. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It, it was the right pass, and I think if you'd gone through. 99% of other players, it would have been all good. Shut up. <laughs> and just working around the edge of the circle. Now the Asian Dragons coming out, but well turned over by the Indian ladies. This is Hippy. And good clean up there by yeah. Lon Charlick. No way through for Diviani there. No, and I think they just lost their width a little bit there. The yeah. Indian ladies, there's a couple of attacks just straight up the middle of the park and, and uh, easy for the Asian team to defend. There's a lot of people in the picture. Here's Heppy working. Julia King. And it goes from Heppy. Penalty nice. corner coming there. I like that a lot better where Ori was closer to that 23. Yep. Um, when we're getting her to try and do more work outside that half, it's just too much for her to do. And you know, she, We know she's got great control of the ball, but like all players that have got that attacking you know, like we see it with um, Shireen and Anna, yeah. Shane and our side. When they're inside that 23, they're so deadly. And I think Ari was the same. Yeah, absolutely. And it just gives another layer of, of attack when you've got Shana and Sharina already doing good work. Big one here for the Indian ladies. It's out for Hira. Straight shot. Sent back. Gets it again. Cut out. A little bit of a scramble. The Dragons do well. Unfortunate one there for Navinas. Just didn't get all of it. And card coming there for the Indian ladies. Again, I'm not 100% sure what, for what that what? one was for. But I often don't. And oh, nice little left, right. Good night on Gurley and Gill. And the stick challenge. She's getting a bit excited there. Yeah, so. I think she's probably a little disappointed. She found herself flat-footed and, and eliminated. Just turn around and swing the stick at it. It's high fives all around for the Dragons. You're just getting a bit frustrated here, I think. The Indian ladies, just a couple of things not going their way. Yeah, so I've missed on the swing and then I think went with the reverse stick. Yep. Back of the stick there. And that, clip that for Instagram. That's left, right, good night. <laughs> 
And it comes Charlick again. Same, same spot, same result. Lana Charlick. Look at the smiles. That's epic from the Asian Dragons. Yeah, she's got that spot pretty covered, right? She's yep. Look at her. She's pumped as well. She got the replay on this. Just a little bit of a bobble on it. Really tough for the goalkeeper to yeah, look. This is going to be a good angle. Stick, I think, yeah. And that's right in the corner. Yes, you can't get any wider than that. No, no, you got to. Any wider, that hits the back fence. That's yep. absolute money. The great shot that was. And I think if we'd seen the replay from that angle of the first one, it probably looked exactly the same. And this Asian Dragon side, well, maybe there's something uh, about Easter Monday. There's, uh, again, some of those advanced stats favoring the Asian Dragon side now, eight to six. Yeah. Uh, but still Not much in that, but the scoreboard's obviously the um, one yeah. that counts for the Asian Dragons. Well, that's right. They've had three attacking corners and scored two of them. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Indian side, they've had four attacking corners and not been able to get any of them. So uh, that's probably the tail of the tape at the moment. And isn't it interesting? Yes, after we talked about this Asian Dragon side, they probably could have upset the Junior Māori team yesterday if they'd exactly. been able to execute some corners. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, it was just interesting yesterday watching them play because there was such a passage of play of just endless PCs for them. And yep, yep. I think a bit of a shift today with Julia coming out of that injection. But maybe we don't know, the players might have been down. You know how it is, a tournament hockey. And Oh, oh great oh. ball. Gowden picks it up. It's a specky of a, of a trap, one-handed there. And now so Mark and she put on a bit of magic. And Sugar up on the back line. And they're going to need a little bit of magic here, this Indian side. At least three servings of it. Yeah, I think um, you would need to get somebody by the end of this quarter. Yeah, yeah if you go into this quarter three down... It's going to be really tough to come out, and that's not going to help. Jaina Suka can't believe the birthday present she's got. It was green card, actually, not yellow. She pulled the wrong card out. April Fools, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> tough one there. I think uh, misfortunate more than uh, ill discipline. But uh, a birthday rest for Jaina Suka. Yeah, I'll just. Here comes King, inside turn. It's excellent skill. I think, uh, as you can see, the frustration and sugar there. Thought she might have been a hit her way, but. Um... And it goes this. Oh, oh good. Just... Yeah, excellent work there from Kishona. Kishona. Just simple stuff, you know, like because they can go anywhere, those little bobbly ones. Yeah. So. Yeah, Casey Lamb probably had more time than she thought there. Tried the little deflection, but they're back in here, the Dragons. And over the back line it goes. Yeah, she went for the little scoop deflection, Casey Lamb. Probably could have just trapped it. That one's off an Asian player. They're going to kick it back out towards the sideline. And Charlick does well there win the free hit. And Audi work can't quite get that one under control. Drop it back into the middle. It's off a foot. Out here, Julia King will come onto the ball. Minute 20 left to go. In it goes. And just a little bit wayward that one. Good to hear the vocal support for the Indian ladies. It's been there all weekend. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Asian team in the bench there, they're uh, counting their seconds down to the third quarter break. Yeah, we did find out who that was, didn't we, Brad? Yeah. Yep, <laughs> yeah, because Shona and Ori was dead, so thank you for coming up. And here we go, the Indian side. They've got one, or just less than one minute to perhaps throw something this third quarter. Oh, 
Oh, nice from Jaina there. All around the back here for the Indian ladies. Working really well, Rishi. It's going to run out of time, though. Yeah. And there's the Huda. What a quarter for the Asian Dragons. Three goals and in 10 minutes. Yeah, big quarter for the Asian team. Yeah, that's huge. As we see the teams go off for their last little bit of chat from their coaching staff. It's high fives all around for the Asian side. The Indian ladies, well, they've got a lot of work to do. There's Jess Ellis taking her team off the pitch. And in the back, we can see the Indian team getting together. Yes, uh, they've got 17 minutes yep. to score three goals. Yep. Uh, where do you start? Well, I just think you just got to keep it short. You know, we don't need to go too long. And just keep your heads. Yeah, that, that first goal there was just, um, I think it caught everyone by surprise, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And then they start to execute from the penalty corner. Charlick, the second goal for the Asian side. A couple opportunities, maybe fortunate here for the Asian team. Uh, but they certainly made them count when they had them. This a nice little spin and entry from Oriwe Hepi set up a penalty corner for the Indian team. But you'll see Navina Hera here just not quite get a hold of this strike. Yeah, probably a bit too close to Shuku there because that's just bread and butter for Shuku, yeah. just straight onto the pads. Yeah, and then uh, this little bit of skill. Wahua, see you later. Looking like Roger Tuivasa Shek last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Breaking ankles, you reckon? Yep. Arch. Oh, did they play last night, the Warriors? Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. Yep. And that one, looking nice. a bit like the Warriors. Putting that away. Look at that, in the yeah, corner. That's... I don't care who you are in goal, <laughs> good no. luck. Unless you're getting down very early, yep. like set up for that log straight away, you know you're not going to pick that. Yeah, that's excellent execution there by Lana Charlick and back out you come. I think you're right, S. They just need to keep their heads, build things, and, and what's been working for them over the weekend is that short stuff, getting players around the ball, winning little free hits, and getting up towards the attacking circle for the Indian ladies. Well, this Asian team, they got 17 minutes to try and ride the bus. Yep. Oh, wow. Back across the goal again. Starting fast here. The Asian Dragons. I'll have to go out to the corner to get it. Yeah, Audi were happy. He's found himself at the back of the field now. Perhaps just to help it through. It's a nice overhead, off. though, to nice. Manisha Jerem. And I win the free hit moving forward. I like this from the Indian ladies. Into Jerem. And cleared there by Shuku. Some space out on this left side. It's probably uh force that one there, right? Eh? Yeah, I would have liked to see them come out through. Yeah, here they go now through Divyanka. She was in some space. She can keep it in. Not quite yeah. there. She's quick, but not quite that quick. Yeah, she's been going good, Divyanka. Just yep. um, nice little ball control. Good skills there. Just couldn't find that one. And now... Bit of pressure on from the Indian ladies. I like this as well. Getting up in the press. Making it difficult for this Asian side to play with the speed. It does leave them a little bit vulnerable potentially at the back. If it gets through. But if you've got Oriwa Hebi back there as well as Jaina Suka who's back on the field. Uh, not too bad. Down the line again, overhead from Hippy to Jerem. Jerem is going to have to get on her bike, does well, but nobody there supporting.
I mean, she's going to have to go and take a little bit further back this time. Caitlin Wong. And here we go for the second time, the Asian Dragons. Full straight to Heppy there who turns. Oh, what a turn. Yep. Nice. So she can find a pass just in front of Divyanka. And again, this Indian side in the full press. Good win. Great win by it. Divyanka gets it back. Here comes Panchia. Anjali Panchia. It's going to fall here for Fitzwalter. Oh. Stay in it. Just couldn't pull it in on the reverse stick there. That's an unfortunate one for the Indian team. It's the right idea, I think. Just... Yeah, this is building here for the Indian ladies. They've won a couple of positions now high up the field. It's just creating something into that circle for them. And it might be the likes of uh, you know, somebody like Shana Nasai or, or Sharina Nana when they're out on the field. A little bit of magic around the edge of the circle for the Indian team. So free hit just outside the dotted circle. Right, she's going to have to move it. Uh, three more steps. It was about three centimetres to the left, I think it was. Yeah, unfortunately, it's gone straight in. Justin at the top of the circle there. You can see a sense a bit of frustration from the players here with yep. just some of these um, little things coming through where usually they run, let them run in the game, but um, getting pulled up on it. Yeah, Manisha Jerem can't believe it. She was pretty sure she was five yards away, but... Ref saying no good, four and a half at best. Manisha's going to spend another, well not another, but uh, two more minutes for the Indian ladies side. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Three cards now, I think. Um, it's not, um, yeah, a bit unfortunate there. It's, uh, yeah, I think we saw one against the Indian men uh, yesterday. Were a similar thing. Um, the person making the tackle actually got out of the way, and somebody else came in to yeah. make the next one. And, and uh, you're not sure there. It's see Hippie go long handle. There's no one there though. No, it's um. Shensi is on the right side. Uh, Hippie's going for the left. So I think I just also heard through the windows here. She put her hands up. Can't see. With the sun, she thought the other player was um, her own teammate. In fact, it was a defender out there, so yeah, she put her hand up and uh, admitted that one. There's still 11 to play, still a lot, a lot left in this Indian team, but obviously the Asians are feeling a bit more relaxed now and can, you know, move the ball around a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they'll uh, pick their, their times to go, but Defence will be on their minds first. This Asian side making sure that they don't get themselves back into an arm wrestle when they don't need yeah. to. You see the intent of Naveena there. And I think uh, that whistle. They're going to come back for uh, a card here. I think everybody was looking around who's who, not you. Yeah. Couldn't be. The umpires are handing out cards <laughs> like Easter eggs, eh? Yeah, it's Easter Monday. A couple of bunnies in the middle, Brad. <laughs> I, <laughs> did, I didn't say that. Brad in tinfoil. <laughs> Brad said that. That's it. That's it. I'll take it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, fourth uh, card for the morning. That one, real innocuous. Nobody really knew what was going on. Yeah, I think it might have been, uh, we know real was coming through, a bit of an elbow check, maybe. I'm sure Ari was used to that. She was wouldn't mind. Say, she'd be fine. Yeah. Here she goes. Oriwa through. Oh, what a nice trap by Hira. And falls there for Anjali Panchia. 
Taking it quickly, Soma Tahira back out through Oriwa Hepi. It's nice to see um, Navina up there. At, yeah. You know, a bit closer to the action. So. Well defended in the end there by the Asian Dragons. And again, they're happy just to see it down the other end of the field. I think we'll see a lot more of that. Just maybe um, yep. knocking it out. Yeah, this Asian team with the three goal lead. It's pretty comfortable if they can keep this Indian side having to come out of the deep defence. Chiba Nasai, Shana Nasai here trying to take on Julia King. Gets her. Add that to the resume. And cut away though by the Asians. Oh, nice from Rishi there. Yeah, had to do it too because Jasmine Hart already beaten two players on her way. It would have been open backfield. And they've just positioned themselves well on defence there, the Asian side to yeah, just getting pick in, up. Getting in front, you know, just uh, facing that ball, nothing down there reverse, you know. Yeah, falls there. We're going to take the free hit for the tangle up first. And she takes it quickly. Hippy. And again, can't get through. This Asian defense has been uh, been really good today. They've really yep. stood up. And now, up that right side, the Indian ladies with the ball. But again, look how many of the Asian defenders are in the picture there. They win it again by getting in front. Lovely one, two, oh. out they go. And now some space for the Asian team. What an effort by Rishi. Now they've built their way forward and again happy just to see it over the back line. They won't mind giving away 16 yard hits here, this Asian Dragons. No, like we said that earlier, just um, probably be he happy to see that run over the back line a few times today. And maybe in this last, coming up to the last five minutes, so. Cut out here by King. This is not what you want if you're an Indian supporter. King weaving, working. Good save. Great save, good shot. Solid work by Kashona. What a run there by Julia King. Yeah, I thought she was looking for the top of the roof there. Yeah, this on the replay. Just keeping it off the ground. One hand there on the left side. And a great shot, but even better goalkeeping by Kashona. Yeah, but I think, yeah, like um, all good players, just get it at the goal first. Make the goalie do something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how many of those have we seen from different players sprayed over the roof? Yeah, yeah. So if any young goal, young Young strikers, first thing, first rule is get it at the goal. Doesn't matter how hard, just make the goalie play it. Yep. And here come the Indian ladies, Hippie. Oh, here's another Easter egg. Oh, this one's yellow. And five minutes for Jess Alice. So she'll oh. spend pretty much the rest of the game. Was that a yellow? It red? was yellow there. Wow. Five minutes for not five. So Jess got the cream egg. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I think those are the. That's the big one with the yeah, uh, yeah. little small ones that comes with it. Yep. And now perhaps an opportunity for the Indian ladies up one with the ball in the circle. Manisha Jerem. There it is. Good. good patience. Really good skill shown there by Manisha Jerem. And penalty corner coming here. Would you got the replay of this one? Jerem just along the baseline, through the legs. There, the first one. That probably could have been the corner. And then onto the back of the stick. They get it twice as nice. And let's hope that they can put one away here, the Indian ladies. Yeah, I think they need to just... Uh... Out it goes to Hira. The one is a little bit too far ahead. Yeah, they got that right in that, uh, the first Asian game, remember? Yep. 
Yep. Just a little bit away from um, Naveen on that second pass. And Jasmine Hart is going to come away with it here. Oh, turns again. Circle entry. Cross it goes. Still there for the Asians. Yeah, nice Kashona. Good save. And now cleared away by the Indian ladies. Nice little enterprising play there for the Asian team. They might not quite be done with just yet. Some free hit coming there for Ha. Again, we're going to get it to the right millimetre down there. It's a game of engineering. Yeah, I think um, Karishma being the teacher, asking questions. <laughs> and free hit now deep in this right pocket. That didn't go five before. It's going in there. Jenny Huang. And with just a touch over three minutes to go here. Another one for the Asian side. In it goes. And they can't connect in the circle. Lisa Zhu in there. This uh, Indian side just being a little bit guilty of, of not executing their outlets, inviting the Asian side to have attacks from close range. Here they go again. Yeah, just a little bit of lack of communication, I think, at times. Yep. And um, maybe the ball speed, you know. We saw good passages in the first quarter. Yeah, absolutely. First and second quarters, uh, the teams really uh, distributed the ball well. But... Um, Tough when the scoreboard's mounted against you. The legs are tired. The sun's out now. The clock's ticking down. Here's one that doesn't care. Uriwa Hepi, she's away. She's got the circle entry. Oh, Pachia just didn't get to the ball first. And they've cleared it away again, the Dragons. That again, just some little miscommunication things there. Yeah, I think that uh, game yesterday has obviously taken a lot out of the Indian girls. Yeah. Big see, effort. You see Jess Ellis there on the sideline. She can only watch and and give her instruction verbally from yep. the sideline. Under two left to play, but you're right, S. It's pretty tough to get up after the heartbreak of yesterday, knowing you were two minutes away from being in the gold medal match and coming up a little bit short to then turn up at 8 o'clock the next morning and, and do it all over again. Yeah, but like you said to me on the first day, it's character building. Yep. Yeah, and though they won't go home with two wins, a draw and a loss, the Indian ladies, they've had a really good tournament. And like we say, we're moments away from the, the final. And they'll be back again next year, I'm sure, um, with some more of this confidence. As opportunities coming here for Hepi. And Shuku, what a save. Got to stick to it. Yeah. They say aging like fine wine. Look at this. Ball coming in from Nana across to Galden. Hippie was patient, but the reverse stick save from Shuku Morimoto standing up for the NZ Asian side. And there's not many that can... Uh, can hang with Oriwa when she gets crafty in the circle like that, but what a save. All right, Shuku, we spoke about her in the build-up. Yes, um, yeah. she had a really good day this morning. Well, she's been good all tournament, like yep. you say. Just the basic stuff, right? Yep, and when you can add those little spectacular ones on top of solid basic saves, you have a field day as a goalkeeper. And here come the Indian ladies. Ten seconds left. Can they get something for their day? Not if Julia King has anything to say about it. She'll go long range, and they'll count down the seconds on the clock. The Asian Dragons have done it on day four of tournament. Their first year here at New Zealand Heritage Hockey, and their first win coming in the women's bronze medal match. Taking home 3-0 over New Zealand Indian sports ladies who, like I mentioned earlier, um, will be heartbroken to have not been in today's final. Uh, 
but had a really improved tournament uh, this year. Yes, man, it's two teams that uh, battled their way through a 2-1 uh, result on the first day. And now just this Asian side, probably the legs got them over the line. Um, yeah, yeah, I think just the uh, legs got them over the line, obviously. Uh, and just taking the opportunities. And hey, when your short corners are uh, firing the way it is, um, you know, there's not much you can do about it as a goalie or a defence. But um, hey, I think both teams, you know, the first half was... Uh, just an even match. Yeah, you see, these are some of the highlights. That's the uh, one of the goals there to the Asian side. Uh, both teams had really good periods of possession. Certainly through that first half, it was the third quarter that really broke things for uh, the Indian ladies conceding three goals. Two of them, like you said, through short corners. Um, and hats off to Lana Charlick. I don't think there's any teams in this competition that could have stopped no. either of those penalty corners. When you get them firing, you're having a good day. Uh, speaking of good day, Shuku Morimoto and goal had a great day yep. for the Asian ladies. Uh, like you mentioned, did did most of her basics right, um, and then made a couple of extra saves on top of that. We're going to check out another angle. I'm hoping of this uh, on a Charlotte goal. Check yeah, this from the yeah, even that. Um the roll-in's not going too far, yep. is it? It's just a nice short roll-in and yep, on the spot. Giving yeah. the striker heaps of time just to crack it in. This is a fantastic save by Kashona off the stick of Julia King. Uh, the Indian ladies just unable to really ice these penalty corners. They had a few of them, I think five in the yes. end. Um, just couldn't quite uh, you know, execute probably the way they would have liked. This one, another great save by Kashona, showing you know, again how good of a tournament she's had. But the Indian ladies just couldn't break through. I thought this was going to be the one. Look at that little stick save by Shuku. Yeah, just under reverse there, just lying down. So, yeah, you would have picked Ori to get those any day, but hey, it's um... yeah. We'll have to ask her about that a little bit later in the day. She's coming up for a chat. Yeah, she probably won't want to relive it, but. Uh... I'm sure we'll ask anyway. All smiles there for the Asian Dragons, their debut tournament here at Heritage Hockey 2024. And what a weekend it's been. What an inclusion the new side have been to the tournament. Oh, and, yeah, uh, well, look, look at the smiles on those yep. young, young ladies' faces. You know, it's awesome to see um, just yeah. what they've brought to the tournament. And, you know, the buzz that the young ones will be getting getting out of playing next to someone like Julia King and Lona Charlotte and ladies like that, you know, it'll be awesome. Yep. And with um, Shuku and goal. And one thing I think it does signal is the endless possibilities of where this tournament could get to. Oh, of course. You know, creating, taking that first uh, step towards, you know, having a new entity here in the New Zealand Asian and both the men's and women's, which has been epic. Uh, and there's been a couple of guest players to fill out the rosters, but we all had to start that way. Yep. Um, you know, the NZI team's doing the same. Um, but we're going to throw it down to Harley, who is on the turf now with Jess Ellis. Uh, find a little bit more out about this Asian Dragons women's side. Here with uh, Jess, and uh, congratulations on the first win of your, the initial tournament. Um, that's obviously a huge weight off the shoulders to actually get the win. Uh, I did notice that you did decide to come off five minutes towards the end. Was that purely to get yourself ready and the party able to go? <laughs> this old girl needs a break, God, <laughs> it's been a big weekend. <laughs> so going forward, you've got obviously uh, Asian team, we want to make sure that we're getting ourselves um, ready for next year. What are you going to start doing to build on the success that you had today going forward? So obviously third, it's pretty good. Yeah, we're really happy with that. I mean, uh, we, we've been building with every game mm -hmm. um, and it's really nice to see it all come together today. Um, you know. Day one, we didn't even know each other's names. Day two, we had name tags on, so we're still trying to figure each other out. But um, I think we've got a really good foundation now. Um, Jules has done so well bringing us all together and, and keeping us together for the weekend. So we just got to build on that, keep connected. And yeah, we've already locked everyone in for next year, so. Oh, that's perfect. And also going forward from here, you've got, uh, you guys actually ended up with um, three goals for, uh, zero against, obviously a great, great word for Shuki. Um, the one I was going to say was uh, the fact that you actually got your penalty corners working. <laughs> what happened? 
we just banked them all from the weekend to today. <laughs> no, I think we've just we've, we've been trying to practice them. Like I said, we're, first time we'd met um, yeah. on Friday, so you know it all just kind of came together. I think we're playing for each other now. Really good team, um, and yeah, pulled it off. Nice uh, to nice to get three in. <laughs> yeah, well, well done, and congratulations on your uh, your first inaugural win. So yeah, good work, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. And uh, we're going to be here with a lady that's travelled all the way from Fiji, Devianka, or D as the, girl, as the girls have been referring to you as. How have you enjoyed, or have you enjoyed playing hockey in New Zealand? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I really enjoyed this tournament, every game of it. So yeah, it's pretty good to be playing 11s again. Yeah. So yeah. So you say playing 11s, were you over in, have you been playing 5s over in, in Suva? Is that where you're based? Yeah, so um, I was part of the squad that went to the World Cup. So yeah, we've been practicing 5s for quite some time, maybe over, over two years now, almost two years. So yeah, switching from 5s to 11s was quite a good, interesting one, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, and how did you guys find 5s? Because I, I, I know I've played a little bit of hockey over in Fiji. You guys, you're fast, aggressive, beautiful hockey. How did you find playing fives in the World Cup over in Oman? Pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> I mean, like, I think fives our thing. Fives Fiji's thing, like the island teams, I think fives is definitely our thing. Just like um, looking at sevens, mm -hmm. sevens rugby. So, yeah, I think fives our thing. So we get to create and, like, use that space and everywhere around, just like, you know, in the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> and going forward, obviously, do you want to send a few more of your girls back over? Oh, yeah, lovely. I would love to bring my team over, bring a Fiji team over probably next year. Oh, yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> okay, and is there anybody at home in Fiji that you want to say hello to? Uh, to everyone that I've been um, updating to, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and yeah, I hope that gets everyone else to come and play and yeah, thank you very much for the support. It's been really great. Yeah, so thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Dee. I hope you thank enjoyed you. your time. See thank you. Bye. Really cool to hear from a couple of our players from this morning's match. Obviously, Jess with the Asian side uh, taking home the win today. But really cool, yes, to, to hear from Divyanka. And like we say, she travelled over to be part of the weekend uh, with the Indian sports ladies. Uh, how cool is it that, to hear her talking about potentially bringing a, a Fiji side in the future? Yeah, yeah, that's really awesome. Like, obviously, as part of the um, organising committee for Heritage, it's great to hear that. And um, obviously, um, Kevin Fraser's got a lot to do with that, so you know we've got a lot to thank him for. So hopefully the connections we can build, and obviously with Brett Lever, also the connections there. So it'll be great to build this tournament. You know, um, imagine that. You know, uh, two Fiji teams, two Asian teams, a couple of Indians teams, and um, whoever else we can get on board, which would be great. You know. Yeah, that that's it, and I think that uh, you know that's the exciting future of Heritage Hockey. Uh, if you want to see it, make sure you're here again next year, Easter weekend, wherever we end up with the tournament. But sooner than that, coming up next, of course, it is our men's bronze medal match between the New Zealand Junior Māori team and the New Zealand Asian side. Uh, they'll get out and start their warm-ups, and we'll be back with that game at about 10 a.m. Uh, make sure you check back in for that one. I've been Brad Pittman, joined by Suresh Walab. Thank you all, and have a great Easter Monday.